In our previous video, we learned two differences between a laboratory thermometer and a clinical thermometer. So we have got a clinical thermometer and a laboratory thermometer. The two differences that we've learned so far is that both of them have different units. A clinical thermometer can measure, it can show temperature in degree Celsius as well as in Fahrenheit. But most of the laboratory thermometers will usually use only one of the two units, which is in our case, it was only degree Celsius. Talking about the range of a clinical thermometer, a clinical thermometer has a very narrow or a very small range. For example, this thermometer, as we did in the last video, can only measure up to, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, seven degrees Celsius. Whereas this thermometer can measure 120 degrees from minus 10 to a plus 110 is a total of 120 degrees. So it has a broader range. In this video now, we will learn about the third difference between the two thermometers and that difference is called the kink. Now what is a kink? Let me show you. Kink is only found in a clinical thermometer. So kink, uh, a kink is inside a clinical thermometer. I'll have to remove this paper to show you the kink closely. Oh, oh let me just invert it down or get a, uh, get a clearer, newer sheet, a white sheet. Let me get a white sheet and I'll, I'm going to place the thermometer out here and I'm going to zoom in and I will show you the kink so I've got fairly close and let's zoom in ah so here we have the light so what do we see here so this is the bulb this part is the bulb this is the capillary tube and here is the capillary tube and this is the mercury inside the capillary tube but if you look closely the structure here this part here this is slightly different let's let's just change the sh direction of the thermometer can you see that this capillary tube on the inside this part of the capillary tube here is slightly different in structure and this part is known this part here is called the kink now what is the function of the kink the kink breaks the connection between the mercury that is in the capillary tube and the bulb now why does it do that is something that we will just see now what is the temperature shown by the mercury in the in the clinical thermometer so i'm going to zoom out i will zoom out and let us just see the temperature that is shown out here so at this moment the mercury is here it is not showing any temperature because we can't read it the graduations are here now observe what happens if i touch the bulb of this mercury and you should never touch the bulb of the mercury uh, because then it starts taking your reading of your fingers so, but i'm going to touch it and i'll demonstrate to you what happens when i touch it so this goes inside my fingers right here it goes the bulb goes inside my fingers and observe the thread of the mercury observe the mercury inside can you see it expanding and it is moving it is measuring the temperature of my body uh, basically between my fingers so now the temperature is rising we'll just wait let's see how long it rises so it is going close to this is around 35.5 degrees now it's still rising still rising still rising let's allow it to settle down a bit so let's just stop now and see what the temperature is. So I'm going to remove my fingers from the bulb. So I free the bulb. Now do you see any change? See what the bulb does is it measures the temperature around. So once I've removed my fingers, it is no more taking the heat inside. Now it should measure the temperature of the air around. But is the air this hot? The air isn't this hot. So why isn't the mercury falling down? The mercury is not falling down because of this structure called the kink. The kink has broken the connection between the mercury in the bulb and the mercury inside the capillary tube. And now the mercury cannot fall back. Now this is very important. Kink is very important in a clinical thermometer. Now why is it important in the clinical thermometer is just think about this. You, you put the th thermometer in your mouth and then you get a certain temperature. And when you take the thermometer out of your mouth, if the temperature falls down, then the doctor cannot tell what is the temperature of your body. He cannot find out accurately exactly what is the temperature of your body. But let us see what happens if you remove the kink. Let us look at the laboratory thermometer now. Now here I have a lab thermometer, right? And uh, I have, uh, let's use the other one. I've prepared a laboratory thermometer for this experiment. And that is an alcohol thermometer. I prefer alcohol thermometer for these experiments because the alcohol is very easily visible on the camera. Now here I have this thermometer and let me show you, let's zoom in. I'm going to move it down. Let me zoom in and show you the temperature. It is close to, close to 10 degrees, close to 10 degrees. And what I'm going to do now is I'll rapidly hold the bulb 
and let us look at the change in the temperature so i'm going to place it down from a place where, where you can actually see the thread so i hope you can see the thread let me zoom in and i'm going to now hold the bulb and here it goes so once i hold the bulb i hold the bulb observe how rapidly alcohol rises so it's rising up it's going to 30 and let me just now remove my fingers what happens let's see let's see okay let us allow it to reach 30 so it's reached 30 degrees right and what happens when I remove my fingers from the bulb of this lab thermometer? Let us observe. So I'm going to remove them and let us see what happens. So this is around 30 degrees. Does the, will the alcohol stay there? Observe, observe what happens. So I'm not holding, I'm not holding the bulb anymore. It's in the, you can actually see it clearly, but the temperature is falling down. Why does the temperature fall down in this lab thermometer? Because there is no kink there is nothing to break the connection between the alcohol in the capillary tube and the alcohol in the bulb so as the temperature is falling down the the alcohol is contracting it uh, the molecules are coming closer together and this is falling down in the clinical thermometer the kink this is the structure here the kink does not allow it breaks the thread it breaks the mercury connection between the uh, between the bulb and the uh, and the cap mercury in the capillary tube and you, you see the temperature is still 36.35.5 I hope you've understood the concept of kink a clinical thermometer has a kink whereas a lab thermometer does not have a kink this is the third difference between the two thermometers thank you